Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I am RK. In this video, let's edit the sudoverse file to give sudo permission to users. sudo by using sudo command we can able to give root permission to any user for that particular command if you are running any command but the command is only executable by root if your user account has permission to use sudo you can use sudo to run that command instead of running one command as root if we need to run multiple commands as root we can switch to root user by using su if you only just enter su and leave the username as empty, it will be taken as root. Or if you enter any user account name, it will be switched to that user. Here I am just using su, it is taken as we need to switch to root user. I doesn't give any password to root user, so I can't switch to root by just using su. If I enter any passwords, it will give authentication failure. So instead of that, I can use sudo su. So I can able to switch to root by entering my user account password. If I press enter, it asks for RK's password, not root's password. Here I am switched to root ID. Here you can see that I am in the root user. Let's clear the screen. And in another tab, I am going to switch to another account which has no privilege to run sudo command. SU Loki. Here Loki's password is also Loki. Here I am as Loki. Who am I? I am Loki. If I run any command like apt update, it needs permission. So I am using sudo apt update. Here it asks for Loki's password. Loki is not in the sudo file. Let's open the sudoverse file. To open and edit sudoverse file, you can use any graphical or CLI editors, or you can just enter vi sudo. Here, sudoverse file will be opened as editable. Here, you can see that this is the sudoverse file. Here, root has all permissions to run all command, and who are all in the group admin and sudo have all permission to run commands. Here I am opening another terminal. Now I am as RK. Just enter sudo iPhone hyphen L password. Here it shows I have permission to run all commands. But if I enter this command as Loki, here it says user loki may not run sudo here we are going to add a new line loki press ctrl s to save and ctrl x to exit now let's switch to loki if i run any command sudo apt update here it asks for Loki's password. Here I here it doesn't connect it to the internet, so it gives me the network failure. But the command is executed. Now Loki has the permission to run any command using sudo. Instead of giving the permission to run all commands using sudo, we can minimize the commands that Loki can able to execute using sudo. Like let's open the sudo's file again. edit this line I am giving no password here when Loki execute the command using sudo it doesn't ask password for that colon and here you need to specify path for the command here I am giving permission to run user add command slash sbin slash user add if you have any doubts in the path you can just enter which user add here it says user slash s bin slash user add you can also use this now let's save this and exit from this now let's try to run user add command as sudo
here it doesn't ask for any password here we already enter the password for loki so let's open a new terminal and try to run that command let's run that command sudo user add here the command is executed if i try to run another command sudo del it asks for password and user loki is not allowed to execute user del command so that's it guys if you have any doubts ask me in the comment section i will try to clear it and thanks for watching see you in the next video bye